Hello guys, welcome back to another video from Homesteading of the Grid. Today, I'm going to show you how to make my saute opo or ginisang opo. This is one of the most popular Filipino dish. So, let's get into my kitchen. Okay guys, this is all our ingredients for our saute opo or ginisang opo. First, I have opo here. I think this is like 1.2 pounds. And then I bought this in Asian store and I have freshly two tomatoes from my garden and I have garlic gloves and I have like one fourth of onion and then we're going to use black ground pepper and we're going to use sardines. I bought this too also in Asian store and I have one fourth teaspoon of salt and two tablespoon of soy sauce. So let's start. Okay guys, let's peel our opal. Let's peel it first. And then remove this this thingy, these seeds, because we don't need this. We're gonna slice all of this like this. Okay guys, our frying pan is already hot so let's put our oil. I'm using olive oil but you can use like vegetable oil. Our oil is hot so let's put our garlic and onion. Let's cook the onion and garlic first. It's done so let's put our tomatoes. Next, let's put our opal vegetables. Okay, let's cover this for at least five minutes. Okay guys, it's been five minutes. So let's put our seasoning, soy sauce, salt, black brown pepper, and let's add our sardines. And guys, I forgot to mention earlier, we're going to use three eggs too. So let's put our eggs right now. Let's just cook this for another 5 minutes and it's done. So 
almost done. Let's just wait until the eggs cook. Okay, it's done. So turn off the fire and then let's put it in our plate. so beautiful look at that Tara, my saute oppo so test taste time test taste time huh oh, taste test time taste test time do you like oppo sauteed oppo yes yeah so you want to go first yeah you want to do it yourself <laughs> you want rice with it or no yeah. Yeah, okay, however you want it. Guys, I like to limit my rice, but this is one of those dishes that I do think goes really good <laughs> with rice. Mmm, mm, there you go. How is it? Mmm. It's good? It tastes like... I don't really know how to call it. <laughs> well, mm. think about it mm. while I try it. Mmm. That's that good, no? Mmm. -hmm. Mmm, guys. Mm. Mm. A lot of people always ask, what does it taste like? Like, if there's anything to compare it to? I would very much compare Oppo to zucchini, but just with a little more mild flavor. It's like, like a weak flavored zucchini. And uh, it's high in vitamins A and vitamin C, so it's one of those you know anti-cancer foods. The vitamin C and it's good for high blood pressure um, if you have heart disease which runs in your family this is one of those vegetables that will help uh, reduce your risks of associated with that type of thing you know as long as you're doing everything else right exercising and not eating this as an appetizer then eating a double cheeseburger from McDonald's afterward you want another bite no okay <laughs> it's, it's good. so good he slept in and he actually just ate breakfast He's pretty full, but... I slept in till 10.40. Yeah, you slept in late, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, let me get this out of your way. Okay, go. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's very simple to make. You can get these things at most Asian markets or international food stores. We'll see you for more next time uh, here at Homestay and Off the Grid once Daniel gets finished with his bows. <laughs>